live album ranking on a Friday. It's Friday already. Where did this week go? Today we are doing part three of the Ian Gillan story. So we've done these early bands, um, the Jesus Christ Superstar. Now we're moving on to the serious stuff. Uh, Deep Purple. We're doing the live because obviously we did um, the studio stuff when we did John Lord. Now, there's been 48 live albums of Deep Purple. And I haven't got them all because a lot of them are the same set. And on one of these, I don't want to have six albums of 1972 live Deep Purple. Who need? So I've got 24. So I'm going to... We're going to look at the 24 album live albums that I've got by Deep Purple. Now I love I love Deep Purple, as you know, um, but some of the, I, some of their live albums I'm not too keen on. But um, that's how it is. Um, you'll find out how I rank them in a moment. Um, okay, there's going to be one or two surprises in there but that is because of a personal choice um, we all hear things differently as I keep saying um, but that's what music's good for it's always a for good discussion um, we all like things differently so here we go coming in at number 24 released in 1978 uh, it was dedicated to Tommy Bowling. It record it re contains recordings of the last concert of the Mark IV lineup. Last concert in J Japan recorded on the fifteenth of December, nineteen seventy-five, at the Tokyo Budokan. On here, J Deep Purple were John Ward, Ian Pace, David Coverdale, Glenn Hughes, and Tommy Bowling. Uh, they're not pretty good songs I think as much as I like the stuff of Come Taste the Band when it comes to live Tommy Bowen just couldn't play the the classic stuff um, we've got Burn Love Child's great on there You Keep On Moving um, Glenn News is so far out of his head I don't think he knows if it's Monday, Tuesday Christmas or Easter um, Wild Dogs which is a Tommy Bowen track is great I like Wild Dogs really good song Lady Luck I love Smoke on the water on here is dreadful. Uh, Soldier of Fortune is quite nice. Then we get this John Lord solo with a woman from Tokyo, which is pretty cool. Highway Star, terrible version. Um, I don't like this album much. I've only got it for the posterity. Um, don't play it very often. The production's not very good either. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 4 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 23, we have Inglewood live in California, recorded in Los Angeles in 1968. It's probably one of the very few recordings of Mark 1 Deep Purple, and it was finally released in 2002. So we've got Rod Evans on vocals, Richie Blackmore guitar, Nick Simper on bass, John Lord on keyboards, Ian Pace on percussion. Opens up with Hush, pretty good, Kentucky Woodman, Mandrake Woo, Root, Help, I never like their version of Help, um, Ring That Neck, Rhythm Deep, Mountain High is pretty naff, Hey Joe's pretty good. Now, all I'll say about this, it's, this, that it's good, but the, obviously the production on it is pretty lousy. Uh, but it's just nice to have. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 22, we have the Gem Je Gemini Suite Live. Um, Follow-up to the concert project um, features... Of course, the Mark II lineup and then the orchestra conducted by Malcolm Arnold. So on here, we've 
got Ian Gillen on vocals. First time we have Ian Gillen. Um, Richie Blackmore, John Lord, Roger Glover and Ian Pace and the Orchestra of the Light Music Society. Tracks on here are the first movement, second movement and the third movement. It's good, but it's not as good as the concert um, project that we preceded this. Um, it's a pleasant enough listen. I've got no problems with it. I do listen to it. It's a Sunday morning album for me. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 5.5. Okay, coming number 21. This time around, live in Tokyo. It's the completed, complete version of the last concert in Tokyo from 1975. The other one was very edited. This has been cleaned up a little bit better. And I... I and it's a little bit better production wise. So the f lineup was John Lord, Ian Pace, David Cufferdell, Glenn Hughes, and Tommy Blo Bowling. We've got Burn Lady, Lo Love Child, Getting Tight is pretty good on here. Smoke on the Water again is um, terrible. Wild Dogs, I Need Love, John, Soldier of Fortune, The Solo, Lazy. This time around, O to G, Tommy Bowling, Drifter, You Keep On Moving, Stormbringer and Highway Star. The stuff that they, the live stuff from Come Taste the Band sounds a lot better on here. It's been cleaned up and that's pretty good. But unfortunately, um, again, Keep On Moving, it's that recording, Hughes is all over the place. Um, but the Mark 3 and 2 bit stuff, they just can't do, I'm afraid. Tommy Bowling isn't, can't do it, um, but again, nostalgic, and it's a better version than the last concert in J Japan, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 20, now, there was a box set release called Live in 1980, I think it was 1993, I have, a, I only got the concert I was at. And that is live at the NEC, recorded on November the 9th. This would be the final show that Richie Blackmore played with Deep Purple in the UK. Um, so we've got that Mark II classic lineup of Gin and Lord Glover Pace. Opens up with Highway Star. Now, Richie was throwing a right wobbly this night. They were record they were filming it, and he didn't like the fact that there was someone of camera following him so he threw a paddy and didn't come out and he wouldn't refuse to come on stage until he was removed I love Richie Blackmore but he can be an annoying little so and so so the beginning of Highway Star there's no guitar and then he comes out then we have Black Knight talk about love twisting the tail perfect strangers difficult to cure John Lord's keyboard, as ever, brilliant. Knocking at your back door, anyone's daughter, child in time, and yeah, the battle rages on. Lazy, space trucking, women in Tokyo, painted black, cover of the, of course, um, stones. Hush and smoke on the water. Now, you can tell that, I mean, this, this is probably the worst concert I ever went to see, Deep Purple. It was... The atmosphere on stage was just horrible. They put in a good performance though. Um, and it was always a joy to see John Lord on the keyboards. He was the man that held it together that night. Um, it was quite, it was a shame. I'm glad I saw this lineup for the very last time, but you can tell. And um, I'll give this an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay, coming in at number 19 is again recorded in 1993. Uh, it, this album was, um, the band didn't want it to come out. But um, basically it's the previous cons, um, set, but some of it's recorded in NEC and some of it in Germany. Um, so this is a shortened version. It's um, Gill and Lord. Blackmore and Pace. On here we've got Highway Star, Black Knight, Twist of the Tail, 
Perfect Strangers, Anyone's Daughter, Child in Time, and your Speed King, Smoke on the Water. Um, they picked the best tracks from both concerts. Um, it's a little bit more cohesive, um, so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 6.6. .6. Okay then, coming in at number 18, an album released in 1982 and recorded at Kilburn in 1974, it's Live in London. First live album that featured the Mark III, so we've got Blackmore, Coverdale, Hughes, Lord and Pace. Tracks on here are Burn, Might Just Take Your Life, Lay Down, Stay Down, Mistreated, Smoke on the Water and You Fool No One and Space Trucking. Um, obviously the Mark III songs are great. Great version of Might take, you Just Take Your Life on here. Lay Down, Stay Down's okay. Mistreated is just far too long. You Fool No More One is long. And Space Trucking is. I don't like them doing the David Cribble just can't sing the Mark II stuff. Um, it's quite a good album. Too many, uh, you've, when you've, but you've got two tracks that are over 20 minutes each. Miss Treaties is 15. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 17. An album that was recorded in 2011 called Live at Montreux. This is the Mark VIII version of um, Deep Purple and it's credited with an orchestra. Conducted by Stephen Bentley Clean and it was recorded at the Montreux Jazz Festival on the 16th of July 2011. So we've got Ian Gillen, Steve Morse, Roger Glover, Ian Pace and Don Airy and the orchestra. Opens up with a Deep Purple um, overture, bits of the songs. Uh, Highway Star, Hard Loving Man, Maybe I'm a Leo, Strange Kind of Woman, Rapture of the Deep, Woman from Tokyo, Contact Lost, When a Man bli Blind, When a Blind Man Cries, Even, The Well Dressed Guitar, Knocking at Your Back Door, Lazy, No One Came, Don Airy's Keyboard ser Solo, Perfect Strangers, Smoke, Smoke Trucking, Smoke on the Water, Green Onions, and Black Knight. It's not a bad album. Um, it's of all the ones of the orchestra, it's the one I did dislike the most. Um, but it's not a bad album. Rob, I'm not saying it's a bad album. Um, it's just one I don't play so much. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of seven point four. Okay, coming in at number sixteen, we have another album. Look. Uh, came out in 2001 it's live in Paris 1975 um, recorded in Paris it was uh, the last uh, album that you'd have Richie Blackmore until the reunion uh, so it's Blackmore Coverdale Hughes Lord and Pace got Burn on here, Stormbringer, that's a cracking version and The Gypsy, very good version, Lave the Double Dealers, good Mistreated, Smoke on the Water, A New Fool No One Go On A Bit Same with Space Trucking, you can get Going Down on Highway Star The stuff from uh, Stormbringer's good on here, The Gypsy's superb Great version of that, probably the best version of The Gypsy I've got um, it's an all right album, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, coming in at number 15, we've got In Concert with the London Symphony Orchestra, uh, recorded in 1999, released in 2000. This features the Mark 7, I think it's Mark 7, you get confused. So we've got Gillen, Morse, Lord, Govern. Glover Pace, the LSO that's conducted by Paul Mann. And we've got additional musicians, it is a Ronnie James Dio. Uh, first track is Pictured Within, which is one of the songs off um, one of John's solo albums, which is fantastic. Uh, then we've got Wait a While, another song off the album Picture Within, that's pretty cool. Sitting in a Dream, 
uh, the butterfly ball and the grasshopper's feast uh, great stuff stuff from Elf Johnny Ronnie James Dio came out and sang it it was fantastic again Love Is All great track then we got Via Miami which is a track that we'll be looking at it's off one of Ian's solo albums great version then we got That's Why God Is Singing The Blues that's one off, off Ian's um, album then we have Take It Off The Top from Steve Morse and Dixie Dregs. Now, for the those only educated, you probably know that more as Tommy Vance's theme to the Friday Rock Show. When he used to go, the music vendor. Yes, it's the theme tune from the Friday Rock Show when Tommy Vance did it. Ring That Next, pretty cool on here. Uh, Pictures of Home is good. Uh, then we get the concerto which we'll be talking about later. Um, Ted the Mechanics on here. Watching the Sky from Abandoned. Uh, some feels like a screaming. Brilliant version from Perpendicular. Smoke on the Water. It's a quite an enjoyable album. It was nice to hear the concerto for group and orchestra again. Um, it's good, but not as good as the original. But it's still a good album. It's got a great mixture of Deep Purple and Family tracks. Very enjoyable. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.7. .7. Coming in at number 14, we have an album recorded during the House of the Blue Light tour in 87, which I saw them on. Uh, Nobody's for Perfect, released in 1988. Clark Mark II again, so it's Blackmore, Gill and Lord, Glover and Pace. Recorded in America and Europe. We've got Highway Star on here. It's okay, Strange Kind of Woman, Dead or Alive, best version of that. Stuff off House of Blue Light sounds a lot better live, and that is great, really heavy. Perfect Strangers, Hard Loving Woman, again, much better live. The Brilliant Bad Attitude, still sounds great. Knocking at the Back Door, it's okay. Child in Time, not too bad, Lazy. Uh, space Trucking, Black Knight, a little bit of Woman from Tokyo, and you get a little bit of um, Everyday, Buddy Holly, Smoke on the Water, not a bad version, and then you get a studio version of re-recorded of Hush. That's not a bad album. Um, it was a good tour. Uh, it was a good show. Um, I enjoy listening to that. It brings back lots of memories for that time. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.8. Okay, coming in at number 13 then. This was part of the um, Now album. Now What? But it was also released as a single live album called the Now What Live Tapes. This is the Mark 8 version of Gillen, Morse, Glover, Airy and Pace. Recorded on the Now Tour uh, in 2013. A strange kind of woman. Hard Loving Man, great version of that. Stonking, Vincent Price, really good contact lost. All the time in the world, no one came. It's great to hear some of these older tracks. Body Line's pretty good, Perfect Strangers. The tribute to John Above and Beyond, love that. Um, Lazy Black Night Smoke on the Water. Again, great line, great lineup, great guitar work from Steve Morse on this. What I like, he doesn't go off on a tangent, he just comes in and plays the songs as they were on the albums. He's a damn good guitarist. Um, but it was lovely to hear No One Came on here and Hard Loving Man, great stuff. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Coming in at number 12 then. Um, again from the Infinite, Infinite album, um, there was a live piece on this uh, and it was released as a separate album it's called the infinite live recordings volume one it was recorded at hellfest in 2017 got gillen morse glover airy and pace again opens up with time from bedlam from infinite i love that track and it's far better live uh we've got fireball a great rendition of bloodsucker strange kind of woman uncommon man 
pretty cool uh, the, the surprising lazy birds of prey sounds fantastic live perfect strangers uh, stray space trucking smoke on the water then we get peter gunn and hush pretty good black knight again great great set some good songs from the later albums solid as ever um, 8 out of 10 RTO ranking coming in at number 11 uh, an album released in 2015 recorded at the Budokan in 2014 to the rising sun in Tokyo again it's Gillen Morse Glover Aryan Pace opens up with Après Vu pretty good track a great version of Into the Fire um, Hard Loving Man Strange Kind of Woman Vincent Price, Contact Lost, Uncommon Man, Well Dressed Guitar, a stunking version of The Mule, um, Above and Beyond, Lazy, Hell to Pay is great, Don Airy's keyboard solo, magical stuff from Don, he is as good as John Lord, um, Perfect Stranger, Smoke on the Water, Green Onions, Hush Black Knight, great, bit longer than the uh, Now What, um, but some of these tracks again are great. Into the Fire is just brilliant. Um, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8.3. Okay, coming in at number 10. Uh, released in 99. Total Abandon Australia 99. Uh, Morse, Gillen, Lord, Glover, and Pace. This is probably one of some of the last recordings we had of John Lord with Deep Purple. Um, got Ted the Mechanic, brilliant, strange kind of woman, Bloodsucker, Pictures of Home, Almost Humans, pretty good woman from Tokyo, Fire, Watching the Sky, Fireball, great version. Ian's good on that, even though it, you know his voice is. Not as strong as it was in 71, but he still does a fine performance on that. Sometimes I feel like screaming. Fabulous song. Steve Morse's guitar solo is pretty good. They've got Smoke on the Water, Lazy, Perfect Strangers, Speed King. Great version of that. Black Knight and the Highway Star. Great. Great set. Great concert. 8.4. Banking for RTO. Coming in at number nine was another album from this same sort of period from the setting sun in Wacken. The reproduction on this is fabulous. It's recorded in Wacken, Germany. Best open air production you'll ever hear. So on this one, we've got Highway Star, Into the Fire, Hard Loving Man, Vincent Price, Strange Kind of Woman, Contact Lost, The Well-Dressed Guitar, Hell to Pay lazy above and beyond no one came Don Airy's solo the perfect street rangers space trucking smoke on the water which featured scorpions Uli John Roth great stuff and uh, green onions and black knight great album great production all the tracks sound great on this I don't know what they do out there but they really hit it on the nail so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.5 okay number 8 I'm going at a good thing so I need some coffee okay coming at number 8 um, live at Olympia 96 first one that Steve Morse appears on so it's Gillen Morse Glover Lord and Pace opens up a fireball stonking version of fireball Maybe I'm a Leo, another great track from Machine Head. Ted the Mechanic is always great. Um, Pictures of Home, Black Knight, Cascades, I'm Not Your Lover. That's the best version of that. It's better than the um, studio version, love it. The best version of Feels, sometimes I feel like screaming. Gillen's on fire, absolutely kills it on that. Woman from Tokyo, No One Came, The Perpendicular Waltz, Rosa Cantina, Smoke on the Water, a beautiful version of When a Man Blind Cries. 
Um, Speed King's pretty cool on here. Perfect Strangers. Hey Cisco. Again, the best version of that track. Highway Star. Great album. Um, I would say this is the last time you really got the screech, the screeching Ian Gillen. Um, brilliant album. I love listening to this one. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8.6. Okay, coming in at number seven. He's live at Montreux 2006. They all came down from Montreux. This is the tour that I saw them on. It was the... Um, what tour was it? I can't remember. I saw them at um, Rapture of the Deep. That was it. I saw them at Milton Keynes. That was a good gig. I think we had uh, Thunder, Alice Cooper, Ted Nugent, Journey. Great day out. Anyway, back to Deep Purple. Opens up. Well, we've got Gillen Morse Glover Pace, Don Airy, uh, Michael Bradford, who's a mate of Ian Gillen's, and Claude Nobbs on the harmonica. Uh, we've got Pictures of Home. Things I Never Said, Strange Kind of Woman, Rapture of the Deep, a great version of The Wrong Man, Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye, When a Bland, Blind Man Cries, Lazy, a Keyboard Solo, it's actually on that, it's got Keyboard Solo, Instrumental, Airy, Albert, Amons, Wolfgang, Amadeus, Mozart. <laughs> great little solo from Don, Space Trucking, Highway Star, Smoke on the Water. Again, another fantastic um, set. Short, sharp, but some great songs. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8.8. .8. Okay, coming in at number six. This is an album recorded in Australia in 2001, live in Wollongong, released in 2021. So it's Gillen, Morse, Glover, Lord, and um, Pace. Opens up with The Woman from Tokyo, pretty cool version, Ted the Mechanic. I love this album because we get a live version of Mary Long, which is a great track. Great version. Lazy, good as ever. Another brilliant version of No One Came. Um, Black Knight, pretty cool. Sometimes I Feel Like Screaming, another fantastic version. And then another track you don't get many live versions of from, from Fireball, Falls, absolutely brilliant version. Steve Morse's guitar work on that is superb. Perfect Strangers, Hey Cisco, When a Man Bl Blind Man Cries, Smoke on the Water, Speed King, Speed King sorry, oh, I need to come out rude, Hush and Highway Star. A great album. Got some classics on there. Songs we don't hear very often live, so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 5 is an album that was released in 1976 and it was recorded during the final dates of the 1975 tour before Richie left Made in Europe. It's a one, it's a single album. It's the Mark III of Blackmore, Coverdale, Hughes, Lord and Pace. First track is Burn. This is the best version of Burn I've got. I love this version. This is the definitive version of Burn. Brilliant. Mistreated. Again, probably the best version. It in Includes a little bit of Rock Me Baby to split the track up and it sounds really good. Lady Double Dealer, fantastic version. You Fool No One, great version. Everyone's on fire. And Stormbringer. Okay, this is very short, but it's my favourite album by Mark III Live because it's just got Mark III tracks on it. Okay, they could have put a few more on it, and hopefully one day someone will find some more tracks that are just Mark III and make it a double album. But 
to me, this is the best sounding Mark III live album, without a doubt. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9.4. Okay, coming in at number four, I think this is probably one of the first releases of Ian Gillen. It's Concerto for a Group and Orchestra, which is features Deep Purple and the Royal Fair Malik Orchestra, conducted by Northampton's very own Malcolm Arnold, recorded at the Alba Hall in 1969. Um, the original album just had the concerto, but when they did the re-release, it added some more songs from that show, which is great. So it's the Mark II lineup of Lord Blackmore, Gillan, Glover and Pace, the Fearmolic Orchestra and Mr. Malcolm Arnold. You have the, there's an intro and you wouldn't get seen introduced they do hush a superb version of ring that net absolutely brilliant um, child in time first time we really heard the swailing of um, mr. Gillen superb version with the orchestra then we get the um, concert concerto a leg uh, the first movement Moderato, the second movement Andante, third movement Vivace, and the encore third movement Vivace Presto. I love this album. I love that Pete, that um, concerto that John Lord wrote. It is fantastic. Richie Blackmore plays some great guitar on it. Um, I love listening to it. It's so great as well that they brought out this remastered version. It's superb. Um, I'm going to give an RTO ranking of 9.5. Okay, then coming in at number three. This is an album that was first released in 1980. It's uh, Deep Purple in Concert that they recorded at the BBC in the in concert series. One concert is from 1970 and the other is from 1972. So, of course, we've got Richie Blackmore, Ian Gillan, Roger Glover, John Lord, Ian Pace. First start, first disc is from 1970. Opens up with a blinding version of Speed King. Hard, heavy, awesome. Child in time. Great as ever. Then a stonking version of Ring That Neck. They managed to ooze it out to nearly 19 minutes. Lots of Richie Blackmore guitar soloing and what have you it's great and then they do Mandrake Rue again they 17 minutes worth great great stuff love listening to that even though the tracks are long it's just great to listen to so disc 2 is from 1972 uh, we've got Highway Star on here um, Strange Kind of Woman Maybe I'm a Leo Never Before, which you'll never hear live, and it's great. Lazy, probably one of the best best versions. Not the best, but one of the best. Space Trucking is just freaky awesome. Smoke on the Water and Lucille. Great album. Uh, two fantastic little concerts. The production is get better now. They've remixed it. I've got the album. It's raw as you like. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9.6. Okay, coming in at number two. Now, a lot of people will be surprised what, why this is so high, but it has got... It's for a personal reason. It was recorded at the Nebworth Festival, 22nd of June, 1985. It was originally recorded by the BBC and they put it out on the radio. Everybody had a recording of this and then they brought this album out. So it's a reunion of the classic Blackmore, Gillen, Glover, Lord and Pace. Opens up with Highway Star. Before that you get to Carter and Fugue in D minor from John, absolutely belting. Um, Nobody's Home, great track, Strange Kind of Woman, 
great version of that. Gypsy's Kiss, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Perfect Strangers, the best version I've got of this. It's absolutely belting, um, lazy, superb version. Knocking at your back door. Then we get Difficult to Cure. And then a stunning keyboard solo from uh, from John. It was superb that night. Space Trucking, brilliant. Shortened but great. Speed King, Black Knight, Smoke on the Water. A great version. Crowd went absolutely bonkers. Now, it's number two for me, this, because I was there. I've been a big fan of Deep Purple for many, many years. I never thought I'd get to see them. And to go to this concert, to see this lineup was just mind blowing. Um, it rained all day. It was a hot, cold, wet day. It was not very pleasant. I think the jeans I wore never got worn again because they were just caked in mud. It was a great day all round. Some great bands on that day. We remember them all mama's boys black forts mountain ufo scorpions meatloaf deep purple fantastic lineup great day fond memories of this the production on it's not so brilliant but it's so brings back so many happy memories um so i'm going to give this an rto ranking of 9.9 .9. a lot of people probably wouldn't have that as high but because i think if you were there you'd understand why and i was i was only what a 20 20 year old lad and i thought it was the bee's knees anyway number one then well this is probably one of the best live albums ever 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 recorded in japan in 1972 and it's course it, it is the brilliant brilliant made in Japan um, they got the original and then they kept adding bits to it remastering it now the remaster is to me is the definitive live album by Deep Purple it's when they were at their best the sound is fantastic um, I love this album go to um, live album of Deep Purple of course Opens up with Highway Star, belting version, the best version. Hot Smoke, no, Child in Times next. Again, the best version I've got of this. All these are probably the definitive versions of these songs. Um, Smoke on the Water, great. The Mule, Ian Pace on that was fantastic. He really hit them skins. Strange Kind of Woman absolutely brilliant lazy again best version of lazy space trucking is just mind-blowing the full 19 minutes version okay then on the, the re-released remastered you get this disc too uh, you get black knight which is a great version i've had it on a single as a b-side absolutely belting then the speed king Again, the best version of Speed King I've got. It's hard, it's heavy, it's just brilliant. And then Lucille, that's all right, I suppose. <laughs> but they always used to end their gigs with that. This is a blinder. It just gets better and better. And that the remastered version is just makes these tracks even better. So there's only one there. Uh, mark i can give this album because it is the best live album ever uh, i'm going to give it an rto ranking of 10 out of 10 of course okay that's just a brief uh thing of um deep purple live i have also got a version of jolene turner that someone gave me yeah the less we I'm glad I never brought that. <laughs> it's not the best, but it's part of the collection. But it's not an official release. I can understand why they never released anything with uh, 
with Joe Lynn Turner because no, he's another one that couldn't really sing the, the classics. Okay, um, got a, the, the next show, the last show of the week is the album review of the Z Lot Gene Jethro Tull's new album. I'll be coming back to do that very shortly. I'll see you for that later. Take care for now.